in today's video few words about essential settings for lithium batteries in Victron energy monitor how you see it is like a here BMV 700 it means it's the I don't know it's the oldest version but for sure it's a, the cheapest and the simplest because we have no Wi-Fi so we cannot use the app on the phone and monitor only one battery not two batteries like in other version okay anyway uh, for me uh, the Victron makes uh, quite good manuals but come on who wanna read at first sight 36 or 42 pages depend on the version of this manual so after some time uh, I check and prepare some information about like a, for me about like a essential settings of this battery monitor and of also I wanna tell why uh, something is for me not perfect and can be better and why i use one reading and not other readings of course right now i using this monitor from some time so this is not like a setup from the first time but it doesn't make a big difference because we have to do it on the beginning or later on when we found all set all parameters the most essential settings setup oh three seconds okay and we have first is a is this scroll is can be annoying is battery capacity so we select and you see I set it for 332 amps yeah so we just oh and setup okay so let's say we set the battery capacity Second, this is charged voltage. It means over this voltage, battery are considered as fully charged. It's not only one condition, but let's say, check it. What we oh, other way? What we have here? We have three, thirteen point four volt. It's set by me. Uh, factory is thirteen point two, so I think it's good for acid batteries but for lithium are a bit too low is something to consider it's not very important as one of uh, important setting but it's not the most important so let's say we I set it for 13.4 to tell the truth it should be set 0 0.2 or 0 0.3 volt less than float voltage of charger going set up and Pelkert exponent it will be in the fifth I okay not this direction I don't know from 1 to 66 we going down it's number 5 select and factory default setting is 1.25 good for lit, uh, acid batteries but for lithium it should be 1.1.05 1 and it's in manual of course but like i said who wanna read it all the time and next at six I again at six is charging effic efficiency factor it means for default setting for uh, acid batteries is 95% for lithium we can set for 99% this means how many energy we lost during the charging so in uh, our case we're losing 1% and next is much much <laughs> forward we go to 16 and this is discharge floor it's called source relay but it means it's discharge floor it means to battery will be considered as as empty because what we said is like a total capacity of the battery but okay we choose right now is 20 percent i set it for lithium battery can be 15 let's say 
uh, or even maybe less, I don't know, it depends on the, your battery. And, uh, and the factory setting is 50%. So means is when it's considered battery empty when it reach this level of, of charging. It's about essential settings which are like a moving our battery monitor from monitoring the acid battery to the lithium battery. But what I want to tell is about this, it's about information which we get on the screen and why this information, some of them are more accurate and better, is in my personal case and my personal view on this, than others. Let's start from, okay, here we have voltage of the battery. Of course, it's nice to see this voltage, but it's not gives us anything except the voltage because as I told in previous videos, it's very hard to calculate the sta uh, states of charge of the battery from voltage. So it's just like that. Number of hours to use all energy in the battery when we're going to the discharge floor. It was this 16 parameter. So, but it's calculated from the average use of the battery in a certain period of time. It's one parameter is called it like averaging filter or something like that. And in default, he count the using of energy in three minutes, then multiply and divide, I don't know how come, but going to this amount of time. So it means it's totally not accurate system because sometimes in a van we using, usually we have like a some LED, LED lamp, some like a USB chargers, etc., etc., some radio playing, and suddenly we make a coffee. On like a, it depends what you have. I have, <laughs> or uh, also fridge not working all the time. So it means it reached this peak, recalculated, and it will be much different than like a five minutes earlier or five minutes later. So we can change the parameter in this filter but only from i think from 0 to 12 minutes so it doesn't make a difference so to tell the truth of course depend on on how you're using energy in your van if you have like a big inverter and power something strong or just led etc etc can be accurate more or less i think in case uh, we're using big inverters with some huge consuming energy like uh, i don't know induction hop or, or or coffee machine will be totally inaccurate. Here is useful more or less information it gives us information how many watts we are drawing from the system. This is how many amps we're drawing in the system. And for me the most useful information is how many amperes right now we draw from the system. So if I know about capacity of the battery, I just make calculation in my mind what left if I know the average of my day. I can calculate it in a head. Of course, we have a lot of more different options of the setup. As you see, is again. As you see, is 66 of them. Many of them are concerned what we want to see on the display or what we want to not see on the display, etc. So this is and how to set the relay because this monitor, as I told somewhere in the previous videos, have a, a relay to let's say cut off the load or cut off starts the the generator, anything. But I think this this few of them is the most essential and we have to set them on the beginning. But I see some. You know problems with manual maybe not in this like a handbook what i have but different i have also different version of the manual and they ask you when you connect the battery everything to set the st state of charge of the battery come on how come you don't know like we know it's very hard to give the approximate even state of the charge of the battery from the voltage so we have only two options Say it as a fully charged or fully discharged battery. So for me, the best option is just we we connect the 
monitor, battery, etc., full system, charger, recharge till BMS, cut off the, the charger. Okay, we know the battery few minutes. In a few minutes, I will tell you about the battery is fully charged. And right now we can like if, do it manually, force it, or system could do it itself. Set so the batter uh, the battery is fully charged and force uh, synchronization manually, or it will be done in I think in ten minutes if three parameters are are, are taken. Uh, set the battery uh, battery setting for hundred percent. Three parameters like a tail current is a etc 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 will be but problem is also second we buying the batteries or cells with cells are even worse they claim so 200 or like a 300 or 150 100 or 5 of capacity but we don't know the true capacity of this battery of the cells of or or this battery so it's also hard to to figure out and because this is like a size of the battery is one of the essential setting earlier later or earlier we have to set it properly at least with few percent of of difference so how i do it i use this my favor reading not not this is not my favorite reading this is my favorite reading and I first I charge battery fully till BMS starts cutting off because one cell I have some if somebody if no somebody don't know my one of my cell in a battery pack is weaker cut off the starting cut off uh, of the battery from the charger then I start reading how many amps going down from this reading to the other reading it means it means i count how many amps go out i discharge battery fully to the moment when bms cut off uh, cut off the system it means of course the capacity of the battery will be a bit bigger because i don't want to go to the to the edge <laughs> danger edge so and because of that, I know so the capacity of my battery was around 332. So, thank you for watching such a boring video with one picture of battery monitor only. I think uh, it's for the beginning is okay. I strongly recommend to read this manual and read with understanding because it's something few things are interconnected and it's a word to know what we see and why we see such a readings or not or not other readings but for me essentially this reading when i read how, how the state of the battery is on minus of course when we go